Hey guys, my name is Mikel Martinez and this is Carlos Paz and today we're going to be doing the Elmer's Glue Goo Experiment. Okay, so the ingredients we need are a measuring cup, um, measuring thingies, gloves, and Elmer's Glue, borax, and food coloring is optional and you'll also need a cup, plastic cup. I'm ready. First step, we have to put glue into a container. Okay. Okay, now we have to put six teaspoons of water into our glue. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now you just put as much uh, food coloring to your liking. And that's about enough. Next, you just mix the food coloring. And the water and glue. If it's too liquidy, just add a little bit more glue. It's supposed to be liquidy, not too liquidy. Next, we need 12 teaspoons of water into a cup. Next, we need one full teaspoon of borax. Stir well for about two or three minutes. Okay, so now it is where the chemical reaction kicks in, where we mix the borax and water with the glue and water, and it will make the slime. And then when you finish pouring it in, you just move it around with your hand. Stop. Try to stir it around uh, a lot, because the more you stir it, the more firm it gets and less sticky. Try to collect all the goo and all the water that's in. Do it until you uh, get the firmness that you want. <laughs> and here we have finally our slime. Looks really nasty, but it's pretty cool. You can make it in less than five minutes. So, yeah. Okay, so keep rubbing and mixing the slime to make it more firm and less sticky and be able to stretch more. And the chemical equation will be right here because it's kind of too long and complicated for me to say. So that's basically the slime experiment. The reason why when you mix borax and Elmer's glue it makes a slime is because the borax is acting as the cross-linking agent or connector for the glue molecules. Once the glue molecules join together to form even larger molecules called polymers, you get a thickened gel very similar to slime. Why'd you 